probably can't even hear me throughout this whole entire clip because of this noise. I'm making Trader Joe's hash browns in my air fryer. It's really good in the air fryer. And I'm also gonna make some eggs and bacon is in the oven. I cook bacon in the oven. I didn't know if that was weird or not. I, some people think it's weird when I cook bacon in the oven. I don't know. Do you guys cook bacon in the oven if you eat bacon or if you eat meat? You guys, this is kind of crazy. The reason that it's crazy is because I need to get my hair done so bad. I haven't gotten a pedicure since February of last year. I bought a, a pedicure kit off Amazon and do my own pedicures at home. So this past week I just got kind of sick of doing my own pedicures and I was like, you know what? Why don't you just treat yourself to a nice pedicure? I'm just really excited to go get a pedicure. Haven't gotten one in almost a year and I just want one. It's not a nec it's not necessary. It's definitely not a necessity to go get a pedicure, but I figured I haven't done it in a little while. Um, I'm meeting Maya and Emily there and we're just gonna have some some pampering. I really don't get my nails done because they just grow so quickly and they look just bad to me after a week and I just don't have time to go every week to get my nails done. It's just, that's so not essential. I really only get my nails done for special occasions and that's it. So maybe I'll do it for my birthday next in June. But um, if I have enough time, I'm gonna get a Starbucks. I have never been to this nail salon before and neither have the girls that I'm meeting. Maya has been on my channel before, but Emily hasn't. Um, I went to high school with both of them and they were a year behind me. So that's how I know them. And Maya used to date my brother and so did my other best friend, Taylor. They both used to date my brother, obviously not at the same time, but they used to like not like each other and then they became friends and now we're like, the Three Musketeers because we both, we all three used to work at Carabas together and that's where we just became the closest and now we're still like really close. I met my friends in high school and we've known each other for how long has it been now? Seven years almost. You know what they say about friendships that last seven years is that they're meant to last a lifetime so we'll definitely be my lifelong friends for sure. It's just really nice to have some friends that just like know um, basically your whole life. They've like been in my life for seven years, so I'm really lucky to like have them as friends. I'm in the Starbucks drive-through. I have to be at my appointment in two minutes. It's not gonna happen. Hi, Hi can I just do a, a grande um, green tea, iced? Yeah, do you want a sweet or unsweet? Unsweet, please. Okay, what else? That's it. Okay, at the window. Thank you. Hi. 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 Good, how are you? Good, thank you. Give me 293. Here's a little ice cream tea. You're all set. Thank you. You too. She totally saw me recording. <laughs> Okay, time to go to my new appointment. <laughs> Oops. Hold on, let me turn this off. I got a green tea if anyone cares. <laughs> Unsweetened. And I'm going to Eva Nails.
guys, it's the next morning or the afternoon. I'm having like a weird eczema flare up on my chest and I haven't done anything differently with skincare or like a new lotion or anything. And um, I used to get eczema as a kid really bad. I don't know if this is like too much information, but it's not on this side, like right here and this one. I'm about to put some cortisone cream on it. I used to get it as a kid, but I haven't been getting it. And I all of a sudden just got it. I've been eating really healthy. So I don't know what this could be. Um, if any of you have any suggestions, on if you've had eczema or like what you've like cut out of your diet to like get rid of it i feel like when you have like issues like this it's diet it's like something that you're eating that you're allergic to because it shows on the skin so maybe it just showed up late because i was eating really bad around the holidays and like week after so maybe it's just showing up now and it's like related to all of that but yeah, if you have any suggestions. We just got back from eating lunch and going to the grocery store. Uh, we went to Fresh Market mainly because I saw these drinks on Lauren Lane. Um, she's married to Chris Lane now. She was on The Bachelor and she posted these on her story, these Olipop sparkling tonic drinks. They only had strawberry vanilla, which I'm bummed about because I looked up the site and they have so many different flavors and I wish they had more of an option or more variety at Fresh Market, but um, there's prebiotics, Botanicals and plant fiber supports digestive health. It's cool how there's nine grams of dietary fiber in these, but I got two of them just in case they were delish. So, um, and there's only three grams of sugar per can. Do you want to try it? Did you try it? Yeah. It's terrible. <laughs> it's not incredible, but I think it's just because it's the strawberry vanilla flavor. I think it's it, but it's strawberry vanilla. The strawberry vanilla is just not good. What do you rate it? I rate it a three out of ten. <laughs> or maybe like a three and a half. I think it's a five and a half. I'll drink it if you don't want it. We would. Okay, I'm gonna make this guac sweet potato thing that I made last weekend. Thought it was really good. I just don't add um, hot sauce to it. But here's the recipe. If you wanna screenshot it and make it for yourself, it's really good. So I'm gonna do that and then finish up laundry because I've been washing our bed sheets. So the scariest, funniest thing happened, and I got it kind of on camera, I got scared. So I ran, I'm washing stuff in the washer. <laughs> Me and Christian were laughing so hard. I'm washing stuff in the washer, a bath mat and a blanket, and it makes this noise sometimes. Here, let me show you. Why is it? <laughs> Opens. <laughs> and I run. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so funny. But it was scary. I'm like shaking still. <laughs> but anyways, that, that's what happened. Um, these are done. So I'm going to put some avocado on them. Mm-hmm. 
crazy good. Mm -hmm. These are amazing, honey. Mm -hmm. That place is cool. We just got back from dinner. Um, dinner was heavy. I don't know why I got pasta. We had pasta last night for dinner. Um, the food that we've eaten today, we were just talking about it. It just wasn't that good. The only thing, or the best thing that we had today was probably the um, sweet potato and avocado. But where we went for lunch just wasn't amazing. It's called Black Rooster. I'm just making a little apple, apple cider vinegar and water. Because sometimes when I take just a shot of apple cider vinegar, it's really harsh. So, okay, I am about to shower, but I did want to update on this um, Pond's cleansing balm. This is one of the best cleansing balms I have tried. It is so good. It takes off your makeup. You don't need a lot. There is a fragrance in it. I don't know if you guys know what I'm talking about when I say like the Clinique take the day off cleansing balm. It has hard pieces that won't like turn into a balm in your hand. This is... It doesn't have those like thick pieces or those pieces that won't soften if that makes sense so I love this highly recommend only $10 and I feel like it lasts a long time I've been using it for two or three weeks it's really 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 good love it I just wanted to end off this video here I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in my next video bye